Hello guys and girls, this is Hellstein here. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be unboxing the camper. But first, before I do that, I'm going to uh, do like a quick review of the last model I put together. Uh, it's a GM Type 2. Uh, I kind of got them already set up because I'm kind of doing this with one hand with my phone. Uh, this is take three, by the way. I'm not like, oh, this is my first take. Uh, so anyway, your arm bend, let's get straight to it. Your arm bend, that's about as far of a bend you're gonna get forward. Your leg bend, it's not that great either. Um, let me see if I can use this wall to hold up my phone. Hey, what do you know? It worked. Too bad I can't keep the video like this. But anyway, this is uh, about as much of a bend in the knee you're gonna get on either side. That's about as high as you're going to get it up to the skirt um, without it almost coming out of the leg. I mean, out of the socket, whatever. It would pop out if you try too hard. About as far back as you're going to get. The foot has, like, you know, that double uh, swivel in it to where you can get back. And I might be saying that wrong, but it'd be all right. Um, the foot's one continuous piece. You know, the arms do the thing that everybody always does. I'm not doing that because it's kind of pointless. Of course, it's going to do 360 around and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the arm is into the body on a peg, on a ball peg on the arm. Let me put this up against the wall again. I'm sorry. Probably see my door. Let's just pop that arm out. And this is pretty much the peg. Peg it into that arm. Um, the bicep is two separate parts. You basically put the parts together. You flip them. You put them into this. This arm is basically one, two, three, four, five pieces. Remember, you got that one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got the shoulder pad here, and then you get these two arm pieces so you can move the arm around and you know double jointed in the arm where you can bend it uh, I don't know how I'm gonna have them set up uh, I'll probably have them set up using the gun um, I would have did it with the sword that's what actually my idea was to have it set up with the sword but the sword is flimsy and it's kind of wibbly wobbly like if you put it in there it's basically it should be holding like this but if you, you could probably give them a hold like that, but if you had to try to put some action pose, it'll kind of go down like that. Instead of being up, it would kind of be like that. And, and that looks so flimsy to me. It's like if she's going to, say like if he was going to like try to stab somebody, he ended up cutting his own head off or something because it's so flimsy. Uh, looks just like the regular GM1. It looks like the GM1. Um, looks so much they even have you a sticker for the GM1. Uh, I want Earth Federation, you can go with Titans, you can go with uh, the AU. Uh, here's a little sticker sheet you get. I did 13. Um, I don't know why. Well, I mean, I kind of like um, weird, crazy stuff. Like what me, most people don't like, what people might find bad luck. I don't I don't believe in bad luck. The only, the only luck to me is, is good luck. Um, but anyway, uh, the 13 is my number. Things like that. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not really, it's not, like they say, it's not really nothing to write home about. And you still have to see, I haven't gotten to wear on these two over here. Um, well, I got, got the body on it. And the reason why I haven't gotten to wear with the, um, the real grade is because it takes, it's basically like a 1 to 100 scale. It takes a lot of work to get it done. And, if I'm gonna waste all, I mean, to me, if I'm gonna take all the time, I'm gonna do it on a big one. Get my other stuff. I got a lot of, I got a lot of them here that I need to put together. That I've had, I've had, had this one for about a month before I started putting it together. I get off work and I don't feel like doing nothing. I just feel like sitting here watching my favorite YouTubers and things like that. But anyway, I will go ahead and get show you the book on it, I guess. All right, scratch. Uh, you all know you have to paint the Vulcans. 
I miss all the major details. Vulcans just paint them. I just noticed that on the. Sorry. The little thing I was call it, I'm gonna call it its ear. It's not really what it is. Like the vent thing right there, you see. See, so you gotta paint that. Uh, basically, you gotta paint that. Because, of course, it's not gonna be painted. Uh, what we'll put through. Now, while I'm flipping through this, uh,. One thing, a model that I would love for them to make, uh, they did a redo. I know they keep doing, um, they redo the Gundam Wing Gundams from time to time. I wish they would do the GM, the Ares, the Leo, not the GM, when I said the GM, I meant the Leo. The Leo, you know, I wish they would do those, redo those, but all they keep giving us is, uh, 0080, 0083, and whatever's new. Um, I want to get some of the Iron Blood Orphan ones, but that's the only one I'm going to get of that one is the Gundam. The Iron Blood Orphan Gundam, that's the only one to me. I mean, with the other mobile suits, are kind of like a mixture of Gundam Wing. Like, they have one that has like the, like, we have it on the back, it's like a circle, and it's like Sand Rocks. Kind of thing, but it's not a Gundam. Or is it a Gundam? Uh, I don't know, I never watched the show, um, and the reason why I don't watch the show is because I watched two episodes, and two or three episodes, and all they did was talk, 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 and I don't mind talking, but it's all they were doing is talking. Maybe I had to get past the first episode to start enjoying it. But anyway, like, these are probably stuff you already know that you want to paint. The bottom of the foot's gonna have to be painted. You can't probably see it, but these leg parts of the legs are vents or whatever. You got to paint those, and of course, you see that part there. Knee, you got to paint that. And of course, I think I already said this, but the Vulcans you have to paint those too. Um, and these the stickers you get with it, like the green stickers, no, they're not bad. But you know how, like, uh, if you had some of the Gundam Wing models, you know how the reflective tape they had. I think that would be better for those if they can do it in. The, uh, use a better sticker but use something with like a little bit of shine to it these actually look like cameras they don't look like cameras to me and they do it with the Gundam's eyes why can't they do it with the you know the little camera things and events and stuff like that but anyway that's about it for this one and of course you get you know you see this this right here you have to paint those on the inside I'm not, I'm not painting those on the inside because one of the main reasons why I'm not doing it is I don't even know why they haven't painted. They haven't painted. Like, they haven't painted the shows so you can see them. But in real life, I don't see the point of painting them. Because in real life, say if you use those thrusters, the uh, heat from the thrusters would most likely tear up that paint. That paint would not stick around. That paint would get all kinds of tore up. It wouldn't have no paint. It'd be all black smudges. If it, you probably saw some on my floor. I'm moving, so I haven't really. I've been coming in just sitting on my butt and putting these things together. But anyway, you get this cutout thing, which I'm not going to do nothing with. I'm not going to put on my wall. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just going to leave it in the box. This is the manual you'll get, and we'll come back to that in a minute. These are the parts. They're out of the uh, bags. The reason I took them out of the bags, because I had them in the bag my first time, my second time around, and. Well, it's, for me, it's not because of the noise they make. I don't think it's a big, it's a big deal. It's just you can't really see the numbers and the letters and stuff like that. So I took them out of the bag and things like that. But anyway, you get the beam swords. This is runner SB4. Get nice yellow. I like it when they change up the colors. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is... Um, like you can tell like where the um, press or whatever you want to call it was you know hitting it I'm going to get these sides or whatever I'm kind of going to uh, cut them down whether they're not sharp they're like you know like the toys extra figures were but then here's one or H uh, it's whatever it is I don't I don't, I don't know kind of should look at the uh, 
instructions first, but I figured I'd give that last. Uh, this is... So we're going to see... Uh, I know some of it's the uh, demolition chain. Or whatever, whatever the Xeon's called theirs. I don't know what they call theirs. But yeah. You see, if you watch Gundam uh, Unicorn, they, uh, there's a mobile suit in there. So that's another one they could have did better with. Like some of the unicorns, the only one that looks good is the Gundam. Most of the other ones look kind of like what, trash. Um, I mean, like you get the Zaku Marine and things like the Zaku Marine or whatever, and you get the model. And I saw people review it and look god awful. I don't think I'll ever get it. I would get some of the origins, but anyway. Uh, sorry, I'm just starting to ramble when I'm trying to <coughs> show. You everything. This is runner B1. And I can actually start telling you what this is. This is a leg, leg part, and uh, the torso. The little and it's the torso. What is it? Or is it torso? I don't know. Here's some of the cables for the cables that go around the body. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, the backpack, the body, top of the body, uh, the legs, the arm. More arm, you know, like the thigh of the leg. And uh, let's see if we get to runner G. It is a double. As you can see, I got two of the same ones. They're both G. Uh, yeah. That's about it for that one. Then you get the weapons, which is two. These are two runners. They're basically they're the same runner, so you put them together. They're both E. It'd be the bazooka and the shotgun, and, you know, the weapons they used in the show. I haven't put this one together yet, but I would tell you, I'm, I'm, I have a, I have a really good feeling this is going to be one that you would want to get. This is one. I uh, went to USA Gundam, USAGundamStore.com is the one I go to. Um, I went to it, then have it, and then I went to it another day, and then I'm having that. Well, I'm better to get it while I can. Some more parts of the demolition chain. The shoulder parts, some more, more, more stuff. I don't, I don't actually, I'm not very good at these. I figured I, I don't know if anyone's done one of these, so I figured I'd do it. Here's the hands that come with it. It's MP2. Um, here are the poly caps for it. Their poly caps are nothing, nothing special. Here are the inner frame of the torso and some inner frame of other parts and like I said, I'm not gonna lie to you say what they are because I don't know uh, these two runners right here are the same this is runner F and of course you can tell there are the feet yeah and then we will put this back to the end of the box then you got runner H A one, I'm sorry. And these are the yellow parts, like the parts that you would normally have to paint. Well, these are the inner frame, inner parts of it, so you won't have to paint none of it. Um, there's the fin. It looks like you might have to paint the fin because I looked at the sticker, and none of these stickers look like it would belong to the fin. So you might have to paint the the white line on there. Uh, I'm trying to think of what you probably could use. Hmm. I don't know, I guess maybe something that's, I don't know, I can't really think of anything, what you could use, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to say that, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it all and all that kind of stuff, this is A2, and it's a bunch of other stuff, uh, this is, model is actually a mixture of stickers, you can't just pick, well, you can use either your stickers or you can use, I guess these are dry, rent, dry transfers, I think, I don't know. Which I'm gonna do my 13. 0 13. Um, and these are the screws. I'm assuming, I'm assuming these are for the legs and the arms to keep them, get them a tight, good fit. And then when I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the case. I have, I have some other ones, other models that, um, that I, could, I need to be putting, I could put together. But now this is the one of them I wanna to put together now. So I'm going to put it together. Uh, it might be a while before you actually see the video on it. I'm like, well, I'm not like, uh, 
was it Zacharius or how we say his name? Uh, I, I can't do like he, he does. What he, Paul, what he does is he don't put up his videos until he's done with it, and that's why he gets the first day you do uh, uh, the unboxing, the second day he does like a bunch of videos of, you know, it on its turn base, and then he, you know, uh, does the articulation and stuff like that. I don't know, uh, one more thing on this G, I'm, you might look at it like, well, you ain't got no well done marks. Well, on camera, you can't really notice them. But like, right here on this uh, thing right here, you can see all the nub marks. But anyway, here we get to the manual. I'm gonna kind of run through this, so like my roommate's here, and they're kind of loud, and yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be comfortable doing this while they're here. Um, there's a picture of it, front and back. The runners, all the runners. There's some more pictures of the front and back, all in Japanese. Uh, I can't read it, so I don't know. A lot of y'all say I can. Uh, some more instructions of how to put uh, the arms together. And then a cool picture of it all being put together, like if you're actually working on it. Uh, there's the arms. Probably not going to be doing the arms first. I'll probably want to do maybe the legs, make away from there. Laying down, and in a battle pose, some other poses, and fine mode. Things like that. Oh, you can never get the um, the Aries, so I would just I usually just I like those in the Aries. Uh, some more instructions. On be the legs, more legs, then the head, and then the body kind of weird I like my stuff to where it's all being put together like start from the legs then the body put the bodies on the leg and then you do the arms and then you do the head or the head and then the arms it way you want to do it and the bazooka uh, how you attach everything and then another picture of the front and the side so that's cool and the weapon I guess the shotgun you either put that that um that on there and if you're not or it depends on you i guess and then the back part of the manual which is showing you the back of the mobile suit and that's about it with the manual and the uh unboxing um i have a lot more models in my um case but yeah i don't think i'm ever gonna show them off i mean they want to move in my new place i might do like a quick little video showing what i have in my case but uh yeah that's about it um leave a like if you like the video comment subscribe and i guess i'll talk to you later peace later